have two uh, public speakers, uh, the representative from uh, the Danish Cycling Campaign and uh, Mike Darvishir, the agent. I would invite the representative of the Cycling Campaign to speak with us. Good morning, everyone. Um, please bear with me. I'm a little under the weather today. Um, so I'm speaking for El Storo, who's been working on this application. And uh, it's clear that the cycling campaign still has some issues with the cycle parking and the access to that cycle parking. Um, as we can see in the area around the station, despite the uh, fantastic new cycle point provision, there's still a lot of fly parking around. And I think we have to accept that it's not just from users of the station, it's also people who are living in and working in the area. Um, one of the reasons you get cycle parking attached to everything around uh, the street is usually because the, there is this insufficient provision for people who are living and working in buildings. Uh, and we think that uh, we'll just have a, more of these problems if this um, current development goes ahead with cycle parking as planned. Uh, so some of the issues. Uh, the access is, is poor. There's a, a steep ramp that you need to use to access or you need to use the lift. Um, and that is also through the car park. So we really shouldn't have people trying to cycle or wheel their bikes while cars are reversing in and out. Um, again, trying to find the parking. Surprisingly, people will find it hard to find. Um, what you'll find is people find somewhere easier to park their bikes. You'll have obstructions on the street or you'll have more stolen bikes. There's the inconvenience of removing fly parked bikes. Um, you also get damage and maintenance issues both um, in the street but also within the building when people try and take their bikes into their apartments and so on or into their offices. Um, so I think that even for the developers they probably don't want to be dealing with these issues. Um, we've also noted there's little provision for out of gauge bicycles. This is Cambridge, we should be aspiring for more. Not everyone rides a lightweight carbon fibre bike that's easy to get to the top tier of, a, of parking. And we do appreciate that more Sheffield stands have been allocated. However, we need to consider cargo bikes, child carrying bikes, bikes with large baskets, bikes with child seats on them, tricycles, child carrying bikes, the big Dutch bikes that you can fit three children into the front. Um, you know, this is Cambridge where we have a real diversity of bicycles and they're not being provided for through the access or the actual um, cycle parking provision. Um, I believe they are Al's points. Um, I forward some questions if, to him if needed. Thank you. Well, thank you for that offer, but I'm afraid we can't take it up. Um, that's yeah. your contribution, yeah. and that's how it's uh, Mike Dunwich. Good morning. Um, the application before you is recommended for approval after over a year of intensive scrutiny by both your officers and specialist advisors. <coughs> it's a scheme that delivers two high class and distinctive residential buildings. It removes unsightly Murdoch cows which for generations greeted visitors and residents if they had left the station. It replaces this ISO with the balance of the new major public square. This portion of the square will be given over to pedestrians and cyclists with the only vehicular traffic passing through being buses. It provides a fitting setting to the listed station building. Yeah. A little bit closer. Is that better? Yes. Thank you. It delivers much needed general housing, but no affordable housing. And I will dwell on the same paragraph that Mrs. Dyer did. Policy 5.5 of the Adopted <coughs> Local Plan seeks to provide 40% affordable housing on site. But within the policy, it also very clearly states <coughs> that the precise amount of affordable housing to provided on each site will be negotiated, taking into account viability any particular costs associated with development and whether there are any other planning objectives which need to be given priority. What this means is that each application has to be looked at its own merits and if due to viability, as is the case here, the proposal cannot provide for affordable housing, it still remains policy compliant. This isn't just government policy, this is your policy and our scheme is policy compliant with policy 5.5. 200 and cycle spaces are provided in the form of double stackers and Sheffield steels. 190 are secured in the basement. Our experiences in 300 properties already occupied is that cycle parking isn't used to capacity. But this scheme shouldn't be just looked at in context of the parking for cyclists, it's the benefits to cyclists generally. Cycling and pedestrian routes will be hugely improved with the two buildings open up routes around and through the station. 
we are providing a traffic free plaza in front of the building that will be a great benefit to cyclists. The Cycle Point facility won the top prize at the National Cycle Railroad last night and members will record the contribution of £500,000 that CB1 is making to the Chisholm Trail. CB1, and Sarah mentioned at the beginning, looking at the concept of CB1, has contributed hugely to cycling in the city. The Section 106 package with this scheme comprises nearly £700,000 which is to be spent on or around the development. But I'd like to focus on the social cohesion elements. Is that 30 seconds? Thank you, sir. This includes £110,000 towards the funding of community development facilities at the junction. The management of CB1 is maturing along with the development itself. This is a natural learning process. There's now a 24-hour security presence on site and with the development of 1560, a permanent management suite for CB1. We hope that will overcome something. We, we believe it will overcome the issues currently presented on the site. CB1 is a mixed-use master plan. It's hugely complex. Where it's been viable, it has delivered 40% affordable housing. But as your policy and government guidance acknowledges, that's not always possible. This is such a case. But it is a proposal that delivers manifest public benefits. Thank you very much.